it's Holly. Today I am opening this Rilakkuma room mat and I'm really really excited about it because this is a Rilakkuma room and there is Rilakkuma furniture and all sorts of really fun things and I'm so so excited about it. I got this room mat from Claydo and Me. They have a website that I will link down below in the description but let's go ahead and get started. So this is set number one which is called Sofa. And the back has a little tiny rug that you can cut out. I will be making a dollhouse of this remit. I'm very excited about it. So this is the first piece, which is the little sofa. It is so, so cute and tiny, and it has really Kuma's head on it. Now, this is a little bit smaller than I was anticipating. I'm planning on using um, this with my Q-Posh, and it looks a little bit small. I'll see how it works, um, but it's still really, really super cute. Then there are these two little slippers that are Kirillakuma slippers. They look very fluffy and cute. They even have a little button. And then lastly we have the cute little Kiratori tissue box, a little tissue sticking out of it. Next is set number two which is called Tea Time and this also comes with little cutouts that you can use. The first thing is a little tray that has a Rilakkuma head which is really cute. I think this is supposed to be like a little cushion to sit on. Very, very detailed and textured. A little plate with polka dots and then a little stack of pancakes with syrup and butter. A Rilakkuma teapot with a Rilakkuma head. It kind of looks like the head is like shrunken compared to this it's supposed to be the body. It looks really funny. You can take the little top off. And then a little Kiratori cup with what looks like coffee inside or tea, I guess, since it's called tea time. Next we have set number three, which is called Welcome. And this one also has some cutout pieces. I'm getting a very strong 70s vibe from this remit, which I really like. Uh, it kind of has like a vintage feel to it. So the first thing in this set is a little Kiratori lamp. Very cute. And there is a little Kiratori vase or vase with her face and ears. And then there's a little flower that goes in there. Then we get this really cool side table that, again, gives me a lot of 70s vibes. It kind of has that old look to it. And then it has these really cute Rilakkuma heads in the pattern. And the cool part is, is that you can slide these little pieces open and shut, which is really fun. And again, I just get a really... 60s, 70s vibe. Maybe it's more 60s. It's kind of more mod. Very, very cute. I cannot wait to put this in the dollhouse and put little things in it. This is set number four, which is called a fashion check. And then on the back, you get a little poster and a little compact mirror, I think that's supposed to be. So if you don't know, Rilakkuma is a bear that is basically wearing an outfit so he can take it off. I don't know what he looks like without his little outfit, but this is a little coat stand with his suit on a hanger. So you look on the back, there's a zipper. So Rilakkuma always has a zipper. And so this is his little suit. So it's kind of cute that they included this in Rilakkuma's room because Rilakkuma would probably hang it up to dry. Then next is this little Rilakkuma lint roller, I think it's supposed to be. And it just slides out like that cute and then you can put it back in and then there's this really really adorable Kiratori spray bottle next we have set number five which is called hobby the first thing in this set is this really cute little Rilakkuma table with collapsible legs and there is a little book which I think has a bookmark coming out of it I'm not entirely sure there are two little dongos a yellow polka dotted plate and a teeny tiny Kiratori cup with a Rilakkuma pencil inside of it. Set number six is the cleaning set. The first thing in this set is this polka dotted rug. Then there's this little chair, and I'm not really sure. I guess it's just to sit on the floor. Then one of the most interesting pieces is this really cute little Kirillakuma vacuum, and the head actually swivels up and down. So that's really cool. And then it has like little wheels on it. And then there's a little Kirillakuma trash can, maybe? Or a bucket of some sort. Next we have set number seven, which is called Favorite. 
And then on the back, you have these little pictures that you can cut out to put inside of the tiny picture frame. So this is the little picture frame. It has a little really cool on it, and it looks like a little cookie. So you can cut out a picture and put it in there. Then you get this shelf, and I think the shelf is very clever because you have the silhouette of Relicuma, then Krillicuma, and then Kiratori. So it's perfect. It's very, very adorable and perfect for all of the little things in this remed set. Then you have this really cute little Kiratori plant that kind of looks like a pineapple. And then this, which is a little pile of money in a jar. Looks like it is one just literally pile of money in there, not individual pieces. Then lastly, we have set number eight, which is called Good Night, and it has the bed, and I'm so excited for it. It's so, so cute. Now, knew it was going to be small. It is only about two and a half inches long, so there's no way that any of the dolls that I have will fit on this little cute bed, but it is really, really cute and adorable. I love the little polka dotted covers, the headboard. What is that? Oh no, there's like a paint smudge on him or something. What is that? Oh, he has a boo-boo. Oh no, why is there paint all over him? <laughs> that makes me sad. Well, I don't know where the paint came from, but I will live. It will be okay. Then there is this really cute little Krillicuma pillow with ruffles so tiny little pillow that kind of doesn't really fit. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like there should be two. I don't know. Then there is a Kiratori. I think this is supposed to be a humidifier. And this comes apart. So that is it for this remit. I'm really, really excited about it. I think that the pieces are really cute and I cannot wait to make a dollhouse using them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will again put the link to where I got this down below in the description. It is from a shop called Clay Doe and Me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.